Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come up with another problem. This is variable friction force on solid hemisphere. It's an original problem and values are set in such a way that calculations are relatively easier. So here it is, a solid hemisphere of mass m and radius r is rotating with initial angular velocity of omega naught about the axis shown in the figure. Now at t equal to 0, the sphere is gently placed on a rough surface having variable coefficient of friction given by mu r, where r is measured from the center of the sphere. We can use this relation uh, uh, mu r is equal to mu naught r by r. I have set in uh, such a way that calculations are going to be very simple. Uh, you will see that uh, here. Uh, so now here you can uh, see that there are three parts. First one is the number of turns completed by the sphere before it stops. Uh, the time t naught in which the sphere will stop and third one is if we take another hemisphere of same density and radius to r then find the time in which the second hemisphere will stop in terms of t naught so this is the diagram involved so here idea of frictional torque we have to discuss in order to get the answers for these parts so let's start here so calculation of uh, frictional torque so here it is when we are going to uh, place this uh, hemisphere on the rough surface so since velocity of different points on different radial distance is going to be different which is going to be r omega so here we can see the friction force will be everywhere tangential to different different points so here it will be like uh, rings we can uh, we will be getting this friction force in terms of as if they are acting like a rings reason being the each particle on the base is moving in a circle so this friction force will be acting opposite to the velocity of those points so since their velocity is along the tangent on those circular uh, radius r so friction force also is going to be in the tangential direction here you can uh, see it on a differential ring uh, which i have taken here on the base uh, this friction force is acting along the tangent radius of the ring is r and its uh, thickness is uh, dr here so it's a very simple problem but very nice one uh, and here you can uh, see the friction uh, force which is going to act this kinetic friction force I can simply write it as mu times the normal reaction on this differential ring uh, which is the base here actually it will be a differential uh, cylindrical shell as you can see in this diagram it is going to be a shell uh, and uh, its radius is small r, thickness is dr and its height if this distance is r this is capital R, this is small r so I can write this height is going to be root of capital R square minus small r square so I can write this uh, uh, friction force now it is going to be mu times dn which is mu times dmg where dm I can find out using uh, the density formula the density of this is m divided by volume of it which is 2 by 3 pi r cube so mu density into volume into g so volume of this cylindrical uh, shell is going to be its uh, base area which is 2 pi r dr and its height is root of r square minus uh, small r square so that's what i have written here once i get the expression of small friction force which is acting on these differential rings I can calculate the torque about the axis due to that friction uh, force and simply I can write it as uh, this d tau fk which is the torque provided by the friction force I can write it as r times dfk this is going to provide the retardation to this hemisphere due to which it stops so I'll be getting 3 mu r mg by r cube times r square uh, root of uh, small r square capital r square minus small r square dr now i'm going to substitute this value of mu r as mu naught small r by capital r when i substitute that i'm going to get uh, this relation here and uh, if you see it's a very simple uh, integral here if i substitute uh, r square minus uh, small r square that is u square so if i substitute these values here i'll be getting a simple uh, polynomial integration the value of mu r i chose in such a way that this integral uh, becomes very simple so when we solve it when we simplify it we are going to get this tau fk as uh, 
टू बाई फाइव म्यू नॉट एम जी आर एंड इट टर्म्स आउट टू बी ए कॉन्स्टेंट एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज हियर दिस नंबर टू बाई फाइव इज ऑल्सो कमिंग विच इज रिलेटेड टू द सॉलिड स्फियर इट्स मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया विल बी रिलेटेड टू दैट सो नाउ आई कैन राइट टाउ इज इक्वल टू आई आल्फा आई एल बी गेटिंग द एंगुलर एक्सेलेशन ऑफ दिस सॉलिड हेमिसफियर विच इज टर्मिंग विच इज कमिंग आउट एज म्यू नॉट जी बाई आर which is very simple relation and it is a constant so calculation of time becomes very very simple uh, we can write omega final is equal to omega initial plus alpha t on substituting the values we are going to get this t not as r omega not by mu not g similarly i can use this uh, omega final square minus omega initial square is equal to 2 alpha theta if we use we are going to get this number of turns theta i can write 2 n pi if n term uh, turns it is rotating the total angle rotated is going to be angular displacement is going to be 2 n pi so i can write this 2 n pi is equal to omega initial square divided by uh, 2 alpha so when i substitute these values i am going to get this n as r omega not square by 4 mu not j, pi j this answer for first part this answer for second part and the best part here is omega not is uh, fixed here mu not is a constant g is a constant so when i make the radius of uh, this uh, sphere second case 2r the time period is uh, or the time after which it will stop is going to be simply 2t not it will take twice the time in order to stop it so this is all i hope you have enjoyed the simplicity of this problem and yet it looks scary from the look but it's a very simple problem i hope you have enjoyed it if you have liked it please uh, leave a like share this channel with others and students and teachers and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem in physics thank you thank you very much